Over time, I've seen just how one person can make a huge difference in improving the life of a city. Joanne Horning is one of those people. Susan G. Coleman for the Cure was just a few years old when Joanne and I met. Her mother had been diagnosed with breast cancer and she needed some answers. She also had an idea to start a chapter of Susan G. Coleman for the Cure in the Bay Area. At that point in our history, we didn't have local chapters. But thanks to Joanne, the San Francisco Bay Area became our first Susan G. Coleman for the Cure affiliate. I went to my law partners and I said, we're gonna we're going to do a community project, a pro bono project. We're going to help uh, organize a not-for-profit foundation, the San Francisco chapter of the Cullman Foundation. So we gave her an office, we gave her a computer, we gave her a fax machine, we gave her a printer, and so she was working in our office uh, when she started the Cullman Foundation. My partners later criticized me for spending a little too much time on business development lunches with the founder of the Komen Foundation. I admire her for focusing on an area. She decided after her junior league work that she was going to devote herself to the world of medicine and science. And she has done that time and time again, uh, locally, nationally, focusing on the needs of hospitals, of diseases, of scholarships for young scientists, and I applaud her for all that work. Philanthropy is an altruistic concern for human welfare. Does that define Joanne Horning? I think everybody would agree it does. She has absolutely superb judgment, and I think that's very important when you choose your good friends, that when you tell them things about yourself that are challenging, that they're gonna give you the great advice that you, that you long for. She has this special uh, side that she wants her friends to do more than just help her with a project. She really wants them to understand the cause. And so that's always in her mind, is how can I make this better? Joanne is just a very wise, thoughtful, and so warm and welcoming. I mean, she's just has a fantastic sense of humor, just a wonderful laugh, and Joanne is absolutely as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. And that, I think, is um, not something you can say about a lot of people. She has got to be the most loyal friend on the planet, and I will forever have her telephone number on speed dial when I have a crisis in my life. It's not even a question who to call. She's very family oriented and uh, loves her daughters. So she's been a, a very important person in my life. She's definitely been an inspiration. Family was definitely very important and is very important to Joanne. Um, we would, she would have dinner ready for us at 7.30 every night when my dad came home. Family dinner so we could all sit down and you know, talk about how our day was. So she definitely found a balance. Hi mom, it's your daughter from my small New York apartment wanting to congratulate you on being honored this evening. I just want to reiterate how much you have made an impact on others' lives in the community, but most importantly, the effect you've had on my life. You're someone I've always looked up to for your genuine, caring, positive attitude and generosity. I've asked some of my Hamlin friends for memories or anything they want to contribute, and they all agreed that your warmth and energy is infectious, and they definitely all remember the infamous Joanne Horning mac and cheese that you used to make for us. Even the smallest acts that you do have had an impact on people close to you, and anyone that has had the chance to spend time with you knows how much love and passion you put into anything you set out to accomplish. We all admire your ambition and hard work. I love you so much and wish I could be there in person to celebrate with you tonight. Hope tonight is great. You deserve it. Love you.